Hello my lovelies, thank you for joining me. Today I wanted to take you through uh, using glitter with gel polish. Uh, basically I'm going to show you um, how I created this mani. I'm just going to do it on pop sticks because I didn't get time to time it when I was actually, oh, sorry, to film it while I was actually doing it. So I thought I'd do it on pop sticks for you now. Just a couple of hints and tips along the way. So one of them being if you're going to use loose glitter over your entire nail then it's a good idea to use a gel polish of the same colour underneath the glitter. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. One is it'll give your glitter a bit more pizzazz and a bit more of an opaque look, make it look a bit more solid. The other reason being if you do get any sort of chips in the um, in the glitter or coverage isn't quite a hundred percent then you've got the same color underneath so it doesn't become so obvious. If on the other hand you're going to do a gradient like I've done here then it's a good idea to have quite a contrasting color gel polish underneath it. So if I'd done this uh, lime green for instance over the green polish um, you wouldn't really notice the gradient effect because it would just sort of blend in with the rest of the polish but because I've done it against a black background it's quite a contrasting colour and you can see the gradient quite clearly. So to do this mani what you will need obviously colours entirely of your own choice obviously I went with black and a lime green um, glitter so with my black I used my all-time favourite black which is um, Le Chat's black velvet polish it's brilliant opaque and two coats love it. Um, the green that I used underneath the nails that are Solid Glitter is an Elite 99 colour, um, which is number 227. And that's a lovely lime green colour. You will also need, well this, this is actually optional, I use this to um, actually encapsulate the glitter on my nails. It's Blue Sky Hard Gel, I adore this product. I actually have a review of this um, if anyone wants to see how I use this. Um, so that is actually optional. I use it just to give my nails a bit of extra strength. Alternatively, you can just use two coats of your favorite top coat, whatever that might be at the end. But I do recommend when you're using loose glitter, as you can see, I've got these two clearly labeled for glitter. Um, anyone that's used glitter knows that it gets everywhere. It gets into everything, no matter how hard you try. Um, to keep it contained, it's glitter and it's not possible. So you invariably end up with little bits of glitter on the brushes and try as I may, I've never been able to get rid of them completely. Um, so if you can if you can do it and you can have a spare of each one just specifically for um, glitter manis, then I highly recommend that. That works really well. And the other thing obviously you will need is a glitter. Now this mani that I'm taking you through today is really for fine or ultra fine glitter and I'm going to be using this lime green here um, just because it contrasts nicely with the black but something like this one for instance this is quite a chunky glitter and the process of actually using the glitter on the gel polish that I'm showing you today is not going to be appropriate for a glitter like that so if you want to see how to use a large glitter with gel polish please let me know and I can do a video on that um, but what I'm going to show you today will work well with any fine or ultra fine glitter. So what I've done is I've already done a couple of pop sticks um, with the colours that I want. So I've got my black one here for my glitter gradient and I have my green one here where I'm going to do the glitter across the entire nail. Um, now as you can see this is quite a transparent colour but that's fine as I said you're just using it as a base for the green glitter anyway so you don't need it to be strong you just need it to be along the same you know within the same colour as, as the glitter that you're using. Now there's lots of different ways to do this and there's loads of different ways um, videos and things showing you how to do it so I'm just going to show you my preferred method. Um, so you'll need some sort of big fluffy brush is my preference because um, what I do is I just dip the brush into the glitter and then I basically just tap it on. Now the only reason I do this in the first instance is because it's very easy to damage the inhibition layer. Now that's one thing I did forget to mention I'm sorry is that you do need glitter polishes that have an inhibition layer. If you're using a color that does not have a tacky layer when it's cured what you need to do is then put a layer of some tacky polish over the top. So you need something for the glitter to adhere to. So a base coat will do. Um, 
a top coat that has a tacky layer when cured will do the job. You can put an extra layer of colour as well if you want to. Um, any of those will do the job. You just need to make sure that you've got a tacky layer at the end of it. So what I'm doing is I'm just sprinkling a lot of glitter over the top. Now, I don't know if you can see on camera, but that leaves a very rough look, which is not what I'm trying to achieve. But what I am trying to achieve is just getting full glitter coverage without actually touching the inhibition layer in the first instance. Now, you can do this with um, a cuticle pusher as well if you want to. I just like using my big fluffy brush. <laughs> So once you've got good coverage over it, basically what you do is pat the glitter into it. Now you're not rubbing the glitter at this stage, you are simply patting it into that sticky layer. If you start rubbing too early, what will happen is that you'll end up with gaps in your glitter. You'll actually rub, you'll damage the sticky layer and your glitter won't adhere to your nail, basically. So you just want to be patting it in in the first instance. And once you're comfortable that you've got full, full enough coverage, that's when you can start rubbing the glitter in and that will give you a nice smooth look. At the moment, this is very rough still um, because I haven't smoothed out the glitter and leveled it down. So all I'm going to do, and you're only doing this with light motions, you're not doing this with hard, with hard motions at all. You're just gently, but you're going in different directions so that no matter which way the glitter is standing up, you're flattening it in doing this process. Now I'm getting glitter all over the place here, and so that's what I mean. It's impossible to work with glitter and not do that. Okay, so once you've done that, then just do a few layers, and you'll start to feel, and you can see it as well, the glitter gets a different look. It loses that sort of sugary effect and looks a little bit smoother. Okay, so... Now, once you're happy with that, I just get my finger and just gently pat it down a little bit as well. And then you're ready to encapsulate your nail. So what we need to do now is we either need to take our top coat. This is where I use my Blue Sky Hard Gel to encapsulate this glitter. Now, this bit is really important when you're doing full glitter coverage. You need to put whatever you're using to cover up your glitter, you need to use a reasonably thick layer. Now, I know with gel polish, we always say to use very thin layer, and in 99.9% .9 of the cases, that is the case. This is not one of those. This is that 0.01% where you need to have reasonably thick layer of polish. And the reason for that, if you have a really thin layer, you inevitably end up dragging your brush down your nail and you will remove some of the glitter when you do that. Now, it's not a huge deal if that does happen. I can show you how to fix that, but um, it's always easier if you can prevent it in the first instance. So I just put a big dollop and you're literally, you're floating this layer on, which means your brush is barely touching the nail at all. And you're just taking this layer and you're very lightly adding, putting the polish, applying the polish to your nail. Okay. And then I will put that in the lamp and that will cure for 60 seconds. Okay, now just one more little tip when you're actually doing this on your nail itself. Um, you will obviously have glitter all over the place on your own nails. Now you will end up with glitter up past your cuticle, you'll end up with glitter under your nails and that's all fine. The only thing you need to be aware of before you put your layer of top coat or hard gel, whatever you're going to use, just grab a cuticle stick or an orange wood stick and just run it around the cuticle area and down the side walls. Now this glitter up here is fine, just leave it there. It's not a problem. All you need to do is just make sure that that glitter that's between your side walls and your cuticle has been removed. So you can apply your top coat as you normally would. And then once you go to remove the tacky layer of your top coat, the rest of that glitter will just come away. It'll be removed. So it's not a problem as long as you get a nice um, finish on your top coat as normal. So follow the line of your cuticle line 
and down your side walls, then you'll end up with full coverage and all of the rest of that glitter just gets washed away. So that's a handy little hint. You need to have your, your cuticle stick ready for that. Okay, so now we've finished with that. That's all cured nicely. So now it's up to you if you want to build up some extra strength in your nails, you can put another layer or two of the hard gel, or you can just go straight to your top coat at this point, which is what I'm going to do just because it's a pop stick. Um, and I'll just finish that off with top coat. Now, because you've done um, a nice layer of the hard gel, maybe two layers, it's up to you. This nail will finish off and it'll be nice and smooth. If you've done um, thinner layers, I'm just curing that now for 30 seconds. If you've done thinner layers and you find afterwards that you've got a bit of a rough feel to your nails that you don't like, put another layer of clear on, hard gel or top coat, whatever you might do, and then very, very, once you've cured that, very lightly buff the surface to get rid of that rough feel and it'll end up feeling nice and smooth. I personally don't find that necessary when you're using an ultra fine glitter like this. Um, and when you've flattened it nicely with your brush and then you've put a layer of hard gel over the top, I don't tend to find that that's necessary. Um, but each to their own, everybody's different. If you want to buff your nails back, then you can. As I said, just make sure you do it very, very lightly. Otherwise, um, you'll start removing the glitter and your lovely green glitter or whatever colour you're using will um, get like a bit of a silver sheen to it. Okay, so this is now cured. I'm just going to remove the tacky layer on this and it'll have a lovely shine to it and our complete glitter nail will all be finished. Um, obviously you can't tell on camera, but that is lovely and smooth. Um, it's got a nice finish to it. It's a nice shiny and that's all ready to go. So moving on to the glitter gradient, um, as I said, I have chosen black. You can obviously use whatever color you choose, but I do recommend that you use a contrasting color. Um, so you could use, you know, a pale shade of green if you wanted to, or um, but obviously something darker is going to make it stand out that little bit more. So what you do is you need to start with a pretty um, relatively clean brush, which is obviously tricky when you're using glitter. Um, and you dip your brush in and you end up with quite a bit of glitter on it, but you need to apply it very, very carefully and you just need to apply it to the tips. Um, this is what would be your cuticle end. Of course, you can do this at the other end if you choose to have your gradient starting from your free edge moving upwards. Now, how far you go with your gradient, um, as with everything, is personal preference. Um, but I would recommend that start with a little bit to begin with um, because it's very easy to apply excess glitter and you end up with much more of a gradient than you intended. So once you've put um, the bulk of your glitter at whichever end of the nail you choose, your cuticle end or your free edge, clean off your brush because no matter how clean it looks, you've still got glitter on this brush and it's enough to do your gradient. So clean that off and then start doing your gradient. Just tab, dab onto the nail. Now you can start from where you've done your polish and pull down. Or equally, you can work back the other way. As I said, you'll still have glitter on your brush and you can work up this way. It's entirely up to you, personal preference, whatever's more comfortable for you. And maybe depending on whether you've started at the cuticle end or the free edge. And then you can go down as far or as not far as you like. I tend to leave it probably half to three quarters of my nail, way down my nail, because what you will find, no matter how careful you are when you apply the clear over the top of this, some of it will get dragged down a little bit. You'll also have some left on your brush and that will get caught into it as well. Um, so I'm happy with that. Now, if I wasn't happy with that, if I'd gone and I'd put too much green on or I just decided I really just didn't like the look of it, it's a very easy thing to fix. Just grab some isopropyl alcohol and wipe off that nail. All the glitter will come off. Of course, the tacky layer will come off as well, but that's absolutely fine because you can just put another layer of polish on. Now, it only needs to be a thin layer. Now, you can do another layer of colour, assuming your colour has got a tacky layer. But if you're worried, if you've got lots of, you know, your nails are um, all going to be the same design and you're worried that the colour is going to look more opaque or, you know, a bit deeper than the other colours, then just put a layer of clear on, 
So, you know, use your hard gel, do a thin layer of that that has a tacky layer. Use any base gel um, or use a top coat that has a tacky layer as well. Any of those things will do the job just fine. So if you're not happy with your first gradient, just remove it and then start again. It's not a problem. So once again, we come in with our hard gel or our top coat, whatever you choose to use. And again, make sure you've got a lot on your brush and starting at the top and float the polish down. Oh, and I've got a hair in there, which needs to go. Okay. So as you can see, some of this glitter is moving, even though I'm pressing very, very lightly. Um, and I had a lot of product on my brush it still dislodges some of the glitter. So that's why I was saying it's better to start with a lesser amount of glitter unless you want a really thick gradient because you will get a bit of movement anyway. I'm actually quite happy with that. So I'm gonna pop that in my lamp for 60 seconds. And I shall be back. Okay, so that has cured in our lamp for 60 seconds. Um, I did actually top coat it and go to put it in the lamp, but then I suddenly remembered I wanted to tell you something else as well, so I've removed it. So that's why it's actually got a matte look to it, um, as opposed to a shiny. Because we've applied um, a thicker layer of the hard gel on here, when we do our top coat, we can do a very thin layer because we don't want the nail to look too bulky and we're no longer concerned about dragging our glitter down the nail because we've encapsulated it in the hard gel. So you can actually put uh, quite a thin layer of top coat on here. So you can go thicker if you choose to, but it's not actually necessary. You can just put a regular thin layer on it and you still won't feel your gel with your glitter through it. And being a glitter gradient, you'll find that there's a lot less glitter flying around the place anyway. So you'll find you won't end up with quite as much glitter um, around your cuticle area, especially if you started at the free edge and then you did your glitter gradient working backwards that way. But as I said, it's always quite messy working with glitter. Um, I've yet to work out a way of not getting it everywhere. As you can probably see, it's all over the place here. Um, so that's why I'd suggest you have polishes that are dedicated purely for glitter. Um, and that goes for the fine glitters, the ultra fine glitters, even the chunky glitters, because some of those pieces get embedded in the brushes as well. So that's come out of the lamp, so I'm now just removing the tacky layer on that. And there we go, here are our two nails. We've got the one that is um, entirely glitter, and we've got our glitter gradient. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope it's been helpful to you in some way. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Thanks everyone, bye.